Hey, what do we look like? What do we look like? Hey, hey, looky there. That's a good one. All right, hello, all you River Cats. I am Braxton the B Dog Davis. As always, got me the old River Cat here. And we've got. Yeah. Little Emma, River Cat. Little River Cat. <laughs> little River Rat that hangs out little with us all rat. the time. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, today we're going to be making a video on how to make lead weights. All right, this is something that you guys can do. Uh, that's going to save you a bunch of money, especially if you're spillway fishing, uh, snagging. You like fishing in rocks, timber, stuff like that, especially for catfish. Uh, we're going to show you a couple different types. We've got several different molds, uh, and just give you guys the basics, show you how it's done. That way, you guys too can do it at home. Giggle box. <laughs> we got giggle box. <laughs> And Gigglebox says she's going to have a good time. So here we go. Let's get to it. Okay, so if you're going to do this, uh, you need just a couple things. First and foremost, you need your smelting pot right there. You also need, and we've got one, two, three, four, looks like five different options of molds right here. Okay, so uh, these come in all different types of forms. You can actually make uh, any type of sinkers you can dream of, even jig heads. Uh, but what we've got is, is we've got bank style sinkers here. Looks like we got some twos, some fives. Uh, we've also got some small ones. Now I use these mostly for white bass fishing. Uh, but they'll go all the way from an eighth ounce all the way up to an ounce and a half. Uh, and then you have yours that we use primarily for cat fishing, your threes, fours, and fives. And then if it gets really deep out there, we got sixes and eights. Okay, real swift current. All right. You okay over there, giggle box? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, basically, all you have to do is is you got your smelting pot, uh, you've got your lead weight. Now we use tire lead. Okay. These are stick-on lead weights. We've also got a bunch of clip-ons. Uh, and essentially, all you do is you put your uh, lead into your smelting pot. It gets nice and hot. We will take our scraper. which is nothing more than just a spoon here. Do not use your wife or mom's favorite spoon. They'll kill you. But you take your scraper, you scrape the top of the uh, lead off. That's where all your trash will actually float up to. Uh, I've got our scrap bucket right here that we'll bang it off in. And then you pour it into your mold, wait for it to cool. And then you can open up your mold, out pops your sinker. So. Enough said, let's just get to it. That way I can show you guys exactly how to do it. Okay, so we got the smelting pot right here. And Dad has put in uh, a couple of just uh, little bars in there. And we're going to go ahead and melt those down. You're seeing how the trash and stuff like that is staying at the very top. Okay, I can't get the camera too close here because it is pretty hot. Um, but what happens is, is he'll do exactly that, poke it all down. And whenever the lead itself melts, it will turn into liquid and your trash is on top, we'll scrape it here. Okay, pro tip number one for this, make sure you're in well ventilated areas. We're gonna crack this window here. It is pretty cold outside, which is why we're stuck inside, but you do wanna make sure that, that you do have some ventilation. Uh, lead gas is toxic gas, so be mindful of that. Now, all of our lead is melted, so here we are just a scooping. What we have here is some nice, beautiful, clean, melted lead. Dad, shake that just a hair so they can see it's all liquid. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that's hot. That's, we're talking several hundred degrees, so be careful, but that's nice. All right, so what we're going to do first is, is let's go ahead, you want to do a five or a two? Uh, usually, usually the first couple of pots, it, it gets kind of thick until it gets, metal gets real good and hot. So what you're saying is it's like a pancake. You throw the first one out, huh? Do, do some bigger one than the first one. All right, all right. Well, we'll do the bigger one first. So let's go with the five ouncer first and uh, we'll try that out. So let's go ahead and grab the five ounce mold. You wanna pour, but you wanna pour fast. You don't just wanna dribble it in. Once you get going, you wanna go all the way in till it starts to come out. Do the next one. Oh, 
with steady hands. Dad, you should have been a uh, surgeon there, buddy. Oh. Keep a steady stream. Once you stop, to make the hole with it. You don't want any of those air bubbles. I don't want any holes. Those are imperfections. All right, now. Is it good? Okay. Now, usually what you want to do is, whenever you first pour the lead, it will be a very a shiny gloss. But well, that's not bad for the first couple. But yeah. see, we got a little bit of imperfection in a couple of those. Yeah, the first one. So we're gonna throw one or one or two of those out. Yeah. Uh, and they'll get a little bit better kind of as it goes. It still worked, but still it's not as good. Just knock it out there. A little trick you guys can do at home. We've got just a big old bucket of tire weights right here. Now a lot of tire weights are not lead. Okay, you got a lot of them uh, that are like a zinc. Um, if they say FE right there, that's iron. You got some steel. Uh, there's plastic, rubber. Um, there's one that's MC, and I don't remember the name of that one now. But one that I'm looking for right here is, is this dark, dingy color. Okay, and what we do is is let the kids take a magnet, and you take a magnet, and if you poke it to the end of that magnet, and it's not attracted. That right there is most likely lead. It's either gonna be lead or plastic. But see how you got that little steel bracket that is attracted? That's the difference. So what we'll do is we'll take this lead, and we've got a pot about half full. If your pot's nice and hot, that lead should melt in a matter of seconds. We're going to go ahead, drop her in there, and we'll just take a little look-see. Look at that. Already moving down, and she's already halfway melted. And you poke it in, and you scoop the top out. Dad, how long was that? Ten seconds, probably. Like when you just kind of go through there and skip the skim off, get the skim over it off. Yep. Get that get get that dirty scum or skim off the top of it. It uh, you know that's where you got things like rubber, um, the, those little. Uh, if you have stick on weights, you got that sticky stuff, rust, dirt, all kinds of stuff like that. And you don't want that on your weights. <coughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a no roll flat sinker okay this is what they look like in the mold all right you got your six ounce right here you got your eight ounce right here now these are the ones that have the line going through them and they're flat okay so the line itself is going to go right here that little slot and it goes down right there now how do we make that hole all right he's got a rod and we're doing uh oh, i'm sorry on the end of this rod you've got a wire that goes down okay and that's what's in that slot now what we'll do is we'll pour it right here and whenever we get done we'll just pull this rod out all right here we go there we go okay now watch 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 see how that turns from a gloss to a real dull whenever it's dull that means it's hardening like that and that's good so we'll go ahead and we'll take it and manhandle it out there we go got it out now let's see what it looks like Ooh, man that's nice and shiny, bub. That's pretty Real good. nice and shiny. That's not a bad one. And take it and just knock it out. And there we go. There's our three ouncer. Doing a four ouncer now. Okay. See what it looks like. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind too, a little bit of a pro tip, make sure in that rod that we were just pulling through there, put a little oil on that and it makes it pull out a little bit better. Look at that, that is nice. I like that one, Dad, that's a good one. Oh, this falls right out. There we go. There's a four. So in just a couple minutes here, we've already made uh, three nice fives, a three of four, and once you get in a groove, you can sit here for just a couple hours. You can make a couple hundred sinkers. So I think we're going to try to do one more. Just these little guys right here. I use these while I'm white bass fishing especially. And uh, that will be about it, guys. And now we're going to do some little ones. Um, I believe we're going to start here on the end with an ounce and a half. And it moves down just a quarter ounce down to about an eighth. Okay, these are a lot harder to do. You have to make sure and have a very steady stream. One. There we go. You don't want to do them too fast now. And guys, keep in mind, 
I don't care how many times you do this, mm -hmm. you're going to have several times where you make a bad one. This is metal. It's not an exact science. It's a technique. It takes a lot of practice. And until you get kind of in that groove, you're not going to have a bunch of perfect ones right off the bat. But right here, I want to show you guys something. Well, we, had, we had one, two, three, four, five, six good ones. Yeah, so we start here in an ounce, an ounce and a half. Okay, we got a good one right here. We didn't pour it fast enough, okay? So what it did was it sealed the top and nothing got down. But you move all the way down and you got a good one down here on an eighth, a quarter. That one's not good. That one's good. That one, the eyelets. Yeah, these little eyelets, we're going to have to redo these because those little eyelets messed up. But this one down here at the bottom is good, okay? So what you do is you pop these bad ones out, toss them back in the pot, keep the good ones, and you're good to go. All right, looky here, guys. We got perfect set on that one. That was a pretty good one. Oop, that one already fell out. But we got a perfect set on that one, so I'm pretty happy with those. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and we got some nice clean pot of lead. Let's go ahead and pour a couple of these. So they kind of harden just a little bit and then you open her up it's good got four good ones right there boys dump them on out all right something that's just a little bit of tip for you guys is these little hershey's kisses right here if you get you a good pair of needle nose pliers these are a little bit inverted but it's fine this gap right here that's in these pliers Fits right over this Hershey's Kiss, just like that. And all you have to do is break it right off. And we use the end. But... Yep. So see how nice and clean that is? And this right here is going to go back in your pot. And that's just straight lead. You ain't got to clean that at all. Ready to go. Okay, now the last pro tip is, is whenever you kill your pot, you always want to leave a little bit of lead in your pot. Okay? You don't ever want to have it dry. You always want to have something kind of coating the bottom of it. Uh, it makes it a lot easier in the future whenever you're melting stuff and it really takes care of your pot. Just like how you don't want to clean cast iron, same concept. Alright, well here we go. We have been uh, smelting for, I don't know, what, 30 minutes, Dad? Yeah, it is. And we've got all kinds of different sinkers here from all the way from an eighth of an ounce. A little bell sinker that you'd use maybe if you're vertical jigging, drop shot and stuff like that. All the way up to we got four ounce sliders, five ounce bell sinkers, uh, and there's probably 30 or 40 of them here. So uh, once you kind of get what you guys want, uh, you can get into a groove and get them pounded out pretty quick. And it's a great thing to do, especially when it's really icy like it is outside with us today. Uh, and uh, this is going to take care of you guys just kind of in the uh, summer times whenever you're needing all these sinkers. All right, now that's going to wrap it up for us for today. Now, if you like the video, be sure hit the thumbs up, subscribe, get the notifications. If you guys have any other videos you guys want to see, comment down at the bottom, let us know. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of how-to videos here over the next couple weeks. Today was a little bit late, and I do apologize, but it's been very icy here in our area. But because of that, we're going to have a lot of how-tos, discussion videos, uh, and I think that's really going to be great for everybody. So if you want to see something, let us know. Other than that, if you make your own weights, you got to save money, and you're going to have some real good fishing. Ain't that right, Dad? That's right. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Be sure, Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. See you then.